Before we start, let me remind you that I will be selling some doubles at a garage sale next weekend on Sunday, 10 September at uh, this address in Belgium. I did an announcement video about this and when I did that, the hour was at 11 a.m. 11 in the morning, but we uh, changed it to 10 a.m. So one hour earlier. So I wanted to alert you of that. So you can uh, come in starting from 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, uh, it lasts until one in the afternoon. But if there's still people uh, at uh, one o'clock, um, nobody is going to get kicked out. So every seller is going to stay there um, as long as there's uh, people uh, still attending the, uh, the sale. So there's going to be uh, four sellers, including me, one professional seller, and then three uh, hobbyists who uh, are selling some doubles, just uh, uh, like myself. Um, so yeah, hope to see you there. Then we get to the topic of this video, the must attend 164 scale only diecast event that is held once a year in Hoogstraten, the strawberry capital of Belgium. So every three inch collector needs to go there once a year. And so did I, together with my friend Heron van Damme. And this is what I found. We're going to go by seller. So first four cars are loose and I got them from uh, visually impaired Mike, who I've talked about in my videos previously, but without mentioning his name. But uh, I talked about him when I did the uh, when I showed the uh, Braille car by Hot Wheels. Uh, a very cool find. This is the Suzu Vehicross by Real Toy. Um, at that time, when I found this, this was the first time I saw this. In the meanwhile. Level M Diecast on YouTube has done a whole a real toy video and he showed a maroon version of this and also a, a silver one, I believe. So uh, check that out if you're into some of these more uh, obscure kind of diecast. Uh, so we got full deco, we've got a lovely detailed interior like these real toy always have. Unfortunately, this wheel is a little bit crooked, but you know, it's not that bad. Um, so this was an asking price of two and a half euro um, and I got it for two euro. That was very kind of Mike. Uh, yeah, very cool find, very happy with it. Same price for this one. This is the Hot Wheels Dodge Caravan in a taxi livery. Uh, yeah, very cool combo. Not very keen on the blue window piece, but other than that, it's fine. This was released in the 2009 City Works 5-pack. You can see it has the base that clips into the body. Nowadays, they don't do that anymore. They have the post, um, supposedly for safety, but of course, it's just uh, for easier manufacturing. It's got six seats in there, kind of uh, captain chairs. Here's a Norev metal on metal Renault Modus 2004. So kind of a compact MPV uh, that we got in, uh, in Europe. Uh, these compact and mini MPVs is kind of a, a, th a typical thing for Japan and Europe. The uh, Americans got, uh, I guess, got the more bigger minivans. Well, maybe they got some uh, mini MPVs too there. Not sure. So basically four tempo sides, lens headlights, suspension, got the uh, useless trailer hitch because Norev did, never did a trailer. And nice uh, gray colored interior. This was three euro, a little bit more, but you know, it's a Norev. Um, usually I try to buy my Norev uh, carded 
because I don't have uh, enough space anymore to uh, store them loose. But, uh, you know, this nice apple blue sea green color just uh, appealed so much to me. I had to grab it. And he also had uh, this gem. Uh, this is a, I don't know if you will be able to show you. This is a Renault Scenic RX4 by Universal Hobbies. Uh, the real car was made from the year 2000 till 2003. Uh, this has a plastic base. You can see the suspension bars there. Authentic rims with plastic tires. The uh, These are very similar to a uh, Norev. Also has the opening part here in the back. But uh, these are more true to scale. This is very close to 164 scale. Also has the lens headlights. An extra plastic piece here with the, the skid plate and the the bumper guard and some black paint for the mirrors cladding on the side partially part of the metal body and partially uh, plastic I have a, a police version of this and I have just a civilian version that's cool great finds uh, this is the only vehicle I got from this seller this is the Matchbox Unimog in the kind of a green army style unpainted rims. Uh, two euro. These are kind of hard to come by because these were, uh, I believe, in two packs. Um, together with another army vehicle. So, I mean, it's not mint, but, you know, don't come across these very often so i thought uh, gonna pick it up for the unimog collection lesney made in england uh, yeah great find another one that is not uh, mint but you know hard to come by kenworth cab over racing transporter and it's in a Ferrari livery, so I could not pass that up. This was a uh, three euro. It's got the Scuderia logo on the door. Magnetti Marelli, number 27 Ferrari, Italian flag colors on there. And same on the other side. No tambours on the front or on the roof. But yeah, I did not have an example of this style of transporter. So for my... Um, Matchbox car transporter video. I definitely need an example. So here I have it. Whoops. I knew that was going to happen. Siku. The uh, number 1622 container lorry with trailer. This was all stapled together. So basically a loose packaging re-stapled. I left the top staple in for easy uh, opening. And nothing... Uh, really interesting on the back on these Siku packagings. Uh, it was only four euro, that's why I picked it up. So basically, we've got a uh, COE cab of a Mercedes truck, lorry, rig, with a container in the uh, German Postal Services livery, Deutsche Post. Got doors that open up. Um, very well done. There's a lip on this door on the top, and then there's a lip on this door on the bottom. Basically the same door, but just switched around. Very good uh, idea. And very easy to open, much better than uh, what uh, Matchbox and Majorette use on their uh, container doors. So I really like that. A detailed uh, plastic bumper there, but uh, no color chrome rims you only get some uh, tempo on the uh, front there and then of course on the side for the logo and here's the trailer well maybe i'll show you the base well there's not much on there really trailer a metal base just like the the rig and then the plastic box again same type of opening and it just uh, connects with the a tow hitch, trailer hitch, 
like that. It doesn't come off very easily, so that's good for play value. Nice one. Got a Hot Wheels Team Transport. I don't often buy these anymore because they've gotten so expensive, but this one was only 10 euro. Uh, used to be 14, but was reduced to 10. So, uh, and since it's got that uh, uh, electric race car on there, I thought, you know, and it's a Volkswagen, so it's a Volkswagen IDR. So I thought, yeah, I'm picking that up. And the Aerolift Transporter. Uh, this uh, seller, Miniature Autowinkel, had a lot of stuff with him. Uh, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and Siku all carded, and some other stuff too. Uh, the carded Siku were very expensive, but uh, so were the uh, the Hot Wheels. The Matchbox um, were, um, you know, some uh, some of the good years, like the what is often referred to as the golden years around the 2010. He had a bunch of those in a bin. I asked him what the uh, prices were. And he said, well, they're all different prices. You just pick what you want and then uh, I'll tell you what you have to pay. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't work for me. He wants me to spend like half an hour going through that bin because, you know, sometimes I'm not sure if I have something or not. So I have to check it on my list. So that takes time. After spending half an hour going to that bin, then I hand him the cars that I want and I hand him his uh, hand him my wallet so he can take out the money that he wants from me. That's not going to happen. So I only got this. Let's open it up. Even though that strategy seems to work because uh, I saw a guy there with a handful of Hot Wheels cars uh, in his hand buying from a uh, miniature auto winkle at his table. And he handed um, the guy, the seller, a hundred euro note uh, and not get anything in return. So apparently it works for some people. Um, to those people, I say thank you for uh, keeping the inflation going. So here's the arrow lift. Metal base, metal cab. It's got the R on the wind deflector and on the side here. Blue plastic interior that also makes for the part of the bumper that is uh, tampoed. It's got the lens headlights. And of course this slides backwards, this plastic um, bed. This is also plastic. Got the real riders, they look good. Unfortunately no tampo on the taillights here. That's a bummer. That's why these are really not worth uh, 20 plus euro that they usually go for here in Europe. Volkswagen ID4. I think, uh, well, I was going to say this is my first example of this casting, but I think I might have another one already. Not sure, but it's got a 2019 copyright, so it's been around for a few years. Metal on metal, of course, real riders, full deco. Um, MBK casting made in Thailand in the Matchbox factory. Uh, this looks like a real existing livery. So that's awesome. Uh, no tempo in the back though. So basically this three tempo sides. Yeah, again, 10 euro, fine, worth it, but not much more than that. Next seller, I call him Mr. Mercedes. Uh, every time I go to this event, I buy some uh, Mercedes castings from him because uh, he seems to be a Mercedes collector and uh, he also had some VW on the table and a few other brands, but mostly Mercedes and then uh, secondly VW, I think. This was interesting to me. It says Motor Max on there. Uh, it's definitely not a uh, Motor Max like the diecast brand motor max it's just uh, a name they slapped on there just like this super wheels i mean some generic stuff um, they were all one euro 
all the cards I got from the seller. But uh, I recognize this casting that is in there. It's a Zilmax or Zilmax, as some of you would say. It's got a, a New York and a, a UK, is there a USA and a UK address on the base here. Uh, not a lot of info. Stay top, taped up, so I'm going to cut it open. I think this is the worst tape. Uh, I thought I already had this. Well, I do, but look at that. Black interior, white interior. I didn't know these had uh, interior variations, so yeah. Uh, very pleased that uh, it is different. Didn't, didn't know that when I bought it. I just thought it's an interesting box. Uh, I want that uh, box to, uh, to have in my collection because if they are resealable, I'll keep them. And it's interesting to have all these kinds of different boxes. But uh, now I even have a different interior. This one does say, say Zill. Not the full name. Just Zill. Um, which it doesn't say on the black interior one. It does have the same D116 code on there. Oh, it says Benz 500SL on the black interior one and made in China on the white interior one. Interesting. So we got a base variation too. Awesome. So, see, I often bring stuff I think I already have, but then it turns out I don't. And that's always fun. That's, uh, yeah. I like it when that happens. Next one, Dicky Diecast Car Salon Display. This is basically a, a repackaged Welly casting uh, from, um, I believe, January 2006, uh, before Dicky had acquired Majorette. They uh, got their 164 three inch diecast from other manufacturers among which was uh, Welly. Uh, I don't have a good loose version of this casting. I have one that is a little bit beat up. And I'm not going to open up this one either because I'm going to keep this in my error collection because this uh, front axle is jacked up and uh, too much forward. So I think the uh, axle is loose in there if you compare it to the front one, uh, the rear one, sorry. Um, so yeah, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's just pushed up because the, the wheel on the right is pushed up against the card. But um, yeah, it looks like an error to me. So I'm going to keep it carded. Uh, so this is the Mercedes C-Class Sport Coupe. It says compressor on the back and uh, it's got the Mercedes star tampoed. Uh, it's got some uh, black paint for the panoramic roof there. Got headlights painted, separate chrome grille and then a huge Mercedes logo on the hood or bonnet. Generic rims and nylon tire tires. Then he had a bunch of these German packaging uh, pullback cars uh, that have uh, rubber tires obviously. Here's the, the whole set. So uh, I got a few of these. Not sure if these were made for a specific store. Well, they were. Woolworth, German Woolworth stores they were made for or packaged for. Um, interestingly, if you look at the price tag, uh, Deutsche Mark, which was the German currency up until 2002. In 2002, the Euro was introduced. So before that, uh, you had the um, Deutsche Mark and then underneath in smaller print, the Euro. So people could, could start getting used to uh, seeing the Euro on there before 2002. And then we could see it uh, evolve. Uh, this must have been in 2002. Then the Euro is on top and then Deutsche Mark beneath it as a reference because people still had to calculate from Deutsche Mark to Euro or the other way around to know how much something costs. 
And then the third one only had the euro on there, so that must have been like 2003, 2004, when uh, you know you were supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, used to euro already. Kind of interesting. Um, I thought that was uh, worth showing some little history of Europe there. Let's take a look at these. Uh, yeah, for those of you who are going to be mad at me for opening these, because these packagings are in pretty good nick. He had a bunch of these in a box. So uh, next year, go to the Hoogstraten diecast event and just go to the guy that had, has all the Mercedes on the table. He's there every year. You can't miss him. He's got a whole bunch of Mercedes on the table. And just ask him for these German packaging uh, welly cars. No big deal. He's still going to have a bunch of them next year, I'm sure. Maybe he won't bring them to the event, but you, know, you can ask him about them. Ask him about them and then maybe make a deal on uh, getting them, acquiring them. Mercedes-Benz CLK. There you have it. Pullback motor. We got some tempo on the side there. That's nice. Uh, unfortunately, the headlights are not done. Get black paint for the grill and a huge Mercedes logo. And we get uh, the full badging on the back there, but no tail lights. Nice interior on these wellies, got a proper steering wheel and stuff. And uh, yeah, nice uh, teal color too. Here we got the Mercedes A Class, which is uh, huge, obviously. Just making them fit the blister. And that's why they are called three inch they are not true to scale 160 forecastings obviously there you go Mercedes Benz A class by Welly nice metallic metal flake blue color here we do get the headlights and the black paint for the grill with the Mercedes logo on there but no uh, side deco, no tail lights. Do get the uh, model name and the Mercedes star. Base clips into the bumper. That's nice. So don't have any post running through there. Proper steering wheel, nice light interior. Sweet. Oh, it's got the um, kind of the soft top roof that uh, slides open in sections. Here we got the uh, Mercedes SLK, the first uh, for g first gen. There's uh, another picture of the cars and the set. Mercedes Benz SLK on the base. This one does get headlights done, black for the grill and the Mercedes logo again, but nothing at the rear, unfortunately. Nice interior, light colored and proper steering wheel. Just for reference, this is what uh, the regular version would look like, different color, obviously. But uh, these are the wheels they used, these kind of uh, matchbox knockoff wheels, same interior. Um, this one only has the grill and the Mercedes logo, but I have one that has the headlights too. Uh, nothing on the rear either, so they are kind of consistent on that. Uh, why did this one get the headlights done? Well, often um, it depended on how much the stores that these were made for wanted to sell them for. So uh, apparently this store uh, was willing to ask a little bit more money and they got a little bit more uh, details. And then this one I thought I also had already. Uh, I didn't find it loose in this color. Maybe I have it in a, in a box, window box. Um, I did find a silver version of this, which is uh, similar, but again, has more details. It does have the grill um, that the red one does not have. Uh, no tampers in the rear. Same uh, interior. 
nothing uh, when it comes to the other vehicles in the set on the back of this. This was imported by a Dutch company into Europe, it seems, or at least into the Netherlands. Mercedes-Benz S-Class, it says on the base. Nice uh, red color Mercedes logo on the hood or bonnet. So nicely detailed casting, but tempo wise, it's uh, lacking quite a bit. So these were intended to be sold for uh, pretty cheap in stores. Cheap alternative to Matchbox at that time. Then next seller, uh, that's this complete row I got from him. That's a Matchbox Unpunched card, number 52. Let's see, this is a 1998 release of the um, uh, Jeep 4x4 on a short card. Two euro. It's the version that has the uh, aerial, the antenna. It's a great plastic base. Made in China, no suspension. Got some white splatters on the side and on the hood. Spare wheel molded into the interior. Trailer hitch that is very high up and completely useless and a proper steering wheel. Look at that. Sweet. He also had a Stars of Cars Mini Cooper. Now I'm pretty sure I already have this one. Um, so I decided I was going to open up this one. Two euro. I think my other one uh, I got cheaper. Uh, asking price was two but I got it for 167. I don't know if that card is better or not but it's got some you know uh, some of the orange scraped off here. It's got the soft corner so you know. Uh, I was going to open it up. So these stars of cars always have the Dinky name on the base. Uh, Mattel bought Dinky, but uh, to be able to still use the name, you kind of have to, well, to not lose the licensing, I think you have to use the name and that's why they put it on the, the base of these matchbox, I think. I'm not sure uh, if that's correct, but I believe that is the story to why it says Dinky on here. Mini Cooper S. 150 scale allegedly uh, no suspension got those flower wheels got the uh, gray uh, rocker panels and wheel arches part of the interior got a disc for a steering wheel and kind of a bland dashboard ah, that's okay we've seen worse from matchbox do get the tail lights and the mini logo and in the front we get quite a nice uh, deco. Could not wish for more in the front here. Yeah. 2008 Tesla Roadster from the 2008 first edition. So first release of this casting is also two euro. And it was an anniversary card, 40 years of Hot Wheels. Short card. I'm going to keep discarded for the electric and hybrid cars video. And then he had a bunch of stuff he uh, sold for one euro. So this is a rally in the window box. Did not have this color. It's taped up or is it not? No, this side is open, I think. Let's see. Or is it taped up? Hmm. Let's see. My eyes. Tricking me sometimes. Nice green color. Volkswagen New Beetle, it says on the base. Final tires. Chrome generic rims. Headlights and VW logo in the front and taillights and VW logo in the rear. That's pretty good. Proper steering wheel, nice interior. 
good value for money for one euro. I'm telling you. Not a welly, but in a Roadmasters packaging. Always interesting to get these strange packagings. John Toy is a Dutch toy importer that imports uh, all kinds of Chinese brand toys into the Netherlands and then uh, slaps them in uh, some kind of generic name packaging. You can see here it says Welly on there. Uh, taped up still too. Not anymore. So of course, same uh, window box. So these uh, these window boxes were probably made in the Welly factory in China for uh, John Toy. VW New Beetle convertible. Again, final tires. Authentic, uh, authentic, well, authentic, generic chrome rims, and same details front and rear as we saw on the other one, although this one has the third brake light tempoed, which the green one did not have. So that's sweet. And here we can get a good look at the nice interior. Again, for one euro, what more can you wish for? Here we got another real toy in the window box packaging of real toy Action City Real Toy International Limited in Hong Kong, where they are based, imported by a Belgian company. Taped up too. Nope, this one is open and a little bit ripped by the tape, but that's okay. On the back side, so Jeep Grand Cherokee chrome base, it just says made in China. Trailer hitch, yeah, wheels are uh, not very impressive. It says off road and gold on the side, gold stripe, four by four, black around the windows, chrome front end. Okay, looking interior, not as good as the later real toy. The later real toy really had a uh, standout interior that was uh, the best in the toy car business. Roof box, ski box on, on top, uh, no tamper in the rear. Nice. And a Tonka with a uh, Maisto casting inside. Sold at Kretvat back in the day for I think 39 cents, which is uh, pretty cheap. You can only dream of that uh, kind of pricing nowadays. So, um, well, that's interesting. Manufactured by Mei Tat Toy Products. So it doesn't say Mei Chung. Uh, that's interesting. Did the, is Mei Chung a later name? Was this the original name? I'm not sure. That is interesting. Uh, again, not going to open up this one. This is for the uh, car transporters video. I'll do a Matchbox one and then the, and then I will do an, uh, one with all the other uh, diecast brands. Next seller. Only got this one matchbox from the seller, only one euro and a half. This Chevy Silverado. Um, let's see what the year this was from. If I written it down, it doesn't seem like I have. Um, let me see where is it. Oh, yeah, 2007. Sorry, uh, did not see it at first. By the way, the black mini was 2005, the start of cars one. Uh, this one has a um, kind of a majorette vibe to me because it has the metal bed. Does not have the suspension nor the lensed headlights, but it comes with the uh, majorette paint chip on the bumper there. How cool is that? Shiny 
Jeffy Silverado SS on the bass. Cool casting. Definitely love the metal bed. Got the mud spreaders on the side. Silverado name there. Yeah. Cool. Another seller. He had this Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTX on his table for two euro and was like, oh yeah, I'm grabbing this one. Could not believe it was still there. This is the uh, non, um, is the interior variation without the uh, roll bar. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, does not have the Skyline name on the base. So we got some kind of bronzes, bronze ish five spokes, hot wheels, and a stripe on the side that kind of stops at the door. Interestingly, tail lights are done. That's nice. So got three tempo sides, good enough, and a uh, nice gray interior. Only one driver's seat, and that's it. Sweet. Next seller, I bought the next three vehicles from this Corgi Four Transits in the uh, Belgian Red Cross livery. I already have this, but it was only three euro. So I was like, yeah, I'm picking this up. Interestingly, 1992 copyright, Corgi Toys Limited, Great Britain, a Mattel company. M made in China. So that's really uh, interesting. So Mattel acquired both Corgi and Dinky. See? Corgi and Dinky. Um, this is taped up. Uh, I've shown it before in a video when I acquired the first one. So I'm not going to cut it open again. You can uh, kind of see it's got the ambulance reversed on the bonnet uh, so you can see it in your rear view mirror it's got the cross on the roof and on the side and then it says het belgische rode kruis belgian red cross on the side with the telephone number back then unpunched card by the way cool it's you know you can only find this in belgium so i mean if i can find it for i think i paid five euro for the first one i got i can find it for three i'm going to pick it up A oldie by Majorette. It's called the Bush, which uh, basically translates to canopy. So it's a it's a rig, a lorry, truck with a canopy on top. That's basically what it's called. It's a Ford-based uh, cabin. It was five euro. You know, for this kind of stuff, for just a a good condition old style blister from Majorette. Uh, that's a good deal. Uh, I'm not sure if it's made in Thailand or France. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I can't really find it. Okay, made in France it says here, but mm, yeah, not always true, but probably is in this case. Nice, great find. And he also had this one. Now I try to buy as many Norev station wagons as I can find, but I said it before, I don't take the loose ones because you know don't have a lot of storage space anymore. So I try to buy them all in the box. This was five euro. I'll happily pay that for a station wagon. You could see all the uh, car makes that. Norif had a licensing agreement with back in the day. This is probably somewhere in the 2000s, early 2000s or midway 2000s, I guess. Got the uh, opening in the rear so you can look at it the other side if there's no defects or anything. I didn't check that. I just bought it without even hesitating. So this is the Volkswagen Passat variant 
metal on metal nice nice double exhaust and metal sticking out in the back you can see the suspension bars authentic rims with plastic tires lens headlights chrome separate piece for the grill with some black uh, in the middle and the vw logo it's got the glass sunroof so typical for that era some black paint on the b and c pillar and then we got the taillights the vw logo and the tdi on the right and the passat on the left uh, metal base clips into the license plate perfectly done no uh, open it, open windows on this and a uh, nice interior all black though sweet totally worth it this seller always has a bunch of extremely expensive premium stuff that is like totally not worth it but he had these uh, Shuko Junior line ones for five euro which is the max maximum I want to pay for these these were not made by Shuko these were made by high speed for Shuko VW New Beetle Cabrio some of these Shuko Junior lines are a little bit more premium with uh, the lens headlights but most of them have the tempoed painted headlights let's see if we can take this off get a good look at it so it says high speed on the base there's your first proof that these are not made by Shuko let's try to do this like that yep let's shove it to the side Printed Chuka on the base, no high speed reference there. Some uh, silver for the exhaust that doesn't even go all the way back. <laughs> kind of silly. It's got a German license plate on there and uh, nicely tempoed. Yeah, even the reverse light and the fog light are done, so that's sweet. Nice interior, too. Premium looking interior. Got the uh, handle on the right to hang on for dear life. Uh, yeah, nicely done. Even got uh, some silver here on the top of the door and the, the, the bodywork. Silver for the rearview mirror. Authentic rims with plastic tires. Headlights look a bit funny. Might have been better if they just were silver without the projectors painted in there. But all in all, this is good value for money. And it doesn't seem to suffer from the funny window piece that the Audi A4 and the BMW 3 Series got uh, by these uh, by Realtor. Next up, same price, Mercedes Benz SL 500. So all castings I did not have yet. So slowly we are uh, chipping away at the high speed catalog try, trying to get them all uh, I once paid seven and a half euro for uh, for two of them the Lexus SC430 and the Range Rover uh, those I paid a little bit more for but usually five euro is my limits Again, nicely done interior. Steering wheel looks accurate. No silver paint on the uh, mirrors on this one, though. Do get it for those air vents. Again, it's got that German license plate and the funky looking headlights, headlight tempo. Taillights are very nice, though. And in this case, the exhaust actually exits the bumper in the back. And uh, yeah. Makes it look rather good for the money. And staying with Mercedes, we got the ML 
SUV, first gen. Not uh, really the best uh, vehicle Mercedes has ever made. Second one was much better. But that was the same with the uh, A Class 2. Again, some silver for the exhaust. This goes all the way to the back at least. German style license plate again, nicely done tail lights. Some black around the windows. Even got the roof rails in plastic. That's a nice touch. Nice looking rims, authentic obviously. And nicely tempoed front end. Again, headlights looking a little bit funny. Chrome for the door handles even. And uh, yeah, nice interior. Nice color too, kind of a dark purple. Suits it well. Next seller. Probably one of my favorite sellers at this event. He's always there, but he's not often on other events. I call him the stand-up comedian. Um, we know each other for several years now. Uh, he knows I'm a cheapskate. He knows my price limit is 10 euro per diecast car. So when I pick something up from the table, something premium, he immediately says, that's not for your budget, so don't have to waste my time on that. Um, usually when I ask him, because none of his stuff is priced, which is kind of a bummer, but you know. Um, usually when I ask him, how much is this? He reverses the question and says, how much you want to pay for it? So in case of this Welly VW Touareg, I said, well, what about a euro and a half? And he said, okay. So this one has license plate on the rear. It's a little bit shortened license plate. It does says WOB for uh, Wolfsburg, the uh, kind of the home of VW on this German license plate. So that's cool. Got all the uh, model designation on there and all the tempos you would really want, even some black for the wiper in the back in the bottom of the window there. Uh, no tempos on the side here and then in front just headlights and a separate chrome grill piece. But you get a proper steering wheel and nice interior for, again for that kind of money. Generic rims and nylon tires as all these well, he have, but I thought this was a nice green color, kind of almost an army green version I didn't have yet. So happy with it. Next one is a Siku Ford Sierra 2.3 liter Gia. So kind of the top spec made in West Germany. Here you got some specs on the vehicle. So metal on metal with the old style Siku wheels, opening hatch. Does have the painted tail lights, which is not original. These were never tempoed. And it's got some paint loss on the side tempo. Has the lens headlights. Still has a taxi sign on top, but the antenna has broken off. So considering all those things, when I asked him what he wanted for this, he said three euro. Uh, I said, told him I only wanted to pay two. And then he said, well, if you're going to leave it, uh, if you're not getting it for three euro, then you can have it for two. So yeah, got it for two. Usually I try to have them complete, but for two euro for this, something this old and, uh, and in really good nick, uh, I picked it up. 
I still try to f I will still try to find one with the antenna and without the tail lights painted. Funny enough, I found another one at another table that also had the tail lights painted in. How strange is that? But nice find nonetheless. This was a fantastic find. So this is the Dodge Magnum by Matchbox from the 2008 Best of Muscle series. Uh, it's in black, so it kind of looks like a hearse. It's got very nicely tempoed front end, very nicely tempoed rear end, with all the badging and a license plate. It's got a nice light interior with a proper steering wheel. This is good stuff, people. Uh, he wanted three euro for this. The minimum he wanted to accept was two and a half euro because that's what he paid for it. And that was what I was willing to pay because this is very rare. This is hard to come by. Another taxi, BMW X5 4.8i, again with some stats on there. It's a Siku. The, the price sticker of four and a half euro is hiding the Siku badging name, uh, logo. I just paid four and a half euro because I thought it was worth it. This is my favorite time period for Siku. Uh, even though I grew up with these, and I'm very fond of them. Uh, this is a lot of value for money. This is around the 2008 time period. They have a plastic base, but they have rubber tires, a little bit hard rubber, but you see there, it's rubber. They got authentic rims. You can recognize nice these from the uh, X5. They got lens lights front and rear. They got opening parts and extra pieces if necessary. Yeah, a lot of bang for your buck. Get some uh, tampos at the front also, even some uh, chrome or silver rings around the kidneys that are painted black. Taxi livery on the side. X5 model name and some red reflectors on the bumper there and a nice taxi sign. What more would you want for? It's awesome. I also got this oldie in a um, ADAC roadside assistance livery. This is a VW Passat Variant GT. Again with the stats there on the base. Metal on metal plastic tires with generic rims does get the antenna the cherry on top the lens lights he had three of these but two of them were missing the vw logo in the front so of course for five euro i picked the uh the one with the logo obviously strassenbacht so roadside assistance kind of freely translated from german black dashboard and steering wheel and then a light uh, almost whitish uh, interior the lift gate opens up i'm not going to force it it should open further but yeah it's kind of thin metal so i don't want to force it uh, yeah nice one a little bit newer than the uh, the Ford Sierra taxi clearly but still metal on metal mm, yeah and complete with the VW logo in the front. Awesome. I bought one Norif from him, the VW Touareg. So VW dealership packaging. Uh, he wanted seven and a half euro for it, but that's what he was selling them for. Minimum price for you, he said, is five euro. Very clear that this is not true. 164, it says three inch on here on the back in very big writing. So not to be uh, mistaking for a true 164 vehicle. More modern Touareg than the one we saw from Welly earlier.
plastic base it's got suspension plastic tires with authentic rims some nice silver details for the roof rails around the windows and some black also and headlights obviously yeah lots of details in the front pretty much completely tempoed up even the fog lights down there yeah very nicely done totally worth uh, the money uh, no model designation emblems on the back it's kind of a bummer other than that it's fully tampoed yeah sweet and nice uh, green color too i thought that was funny i found two green two rags on his table um both are three inch but the norev usually tends to be a little bit bigger they usually are and the last item i got from him is kind of on the side i almost did not see it this is a maisto players mercedes-benz s-class so um, i asked him how much he said what do you want to pay for it you know i didn't want to lowball him too much so i said four I mean, that's that's what i think these are worth and he said okay you can have it for four now for those of you who think uh, i uh, i kind of not I, I how do i say this don't feel bad for the seller okay because i lowballed him on the prices afterwards he said when i was going away from his table it was once again fun doing business with you and why do i call him the stand-up comedian because at the beginning he always says oh man you're always lowballing me i won't have money to uh, feed my children all that kind of stuff it's kind of a banter back and forth between us i'm the cheapskate and he's the guy that just is being mistreated by me it's a game we play we've done it for years we like we like each other and that's just uh, the way we do business and uh, i love it and uh, he does too because otherwise he would not uh, thank thank me for my business afterwards that is clear so don't feel bad for him i certainly don't <laughs> copyright 2005 I thought I already had this in another color, but turns out I don't. So again, that's uh, cool stuff. Metal on metal. It's got rubber tires, custom alloys. Got the brake discs behind the rims, but not the calipers. Got the same style tempo printing on the headlights as high speed players on the license plate a separate chrome grille mercedes logo got those uh, cards here on the front fender double exhaust part of the base even some uh, some chrome ring around the license plate thingy some woofers in the back on the parcel shelf chrome steering wheel and dashboard with the, the tv screen some silver also in there on the on the um, tan interior even on the seats there's some silver yeah completely blinged out vehicle these are very much over the top but you know you get a lot of bang for your buck and i think they're just fun also come with a card so I guess if you collect all of them, you might have a full card game. Maybe not. I don't know. Number six. I should check the other numbers I have of the other. I have a few of these. Then let's uh, slide these a little bit over here. Next seller. Let's see. What uh, name did I refer to for him? I wrote it down somewhere. Yeah. Well, I bought this from what I call, and only Flemish people 
will probably understand the V is no longer. So this is a seller um, that does not like me to uh, haggle on prices. I've learned that a long time ago. Uh, so I stopped um, trying to negotiate for pricing. So if I see something on a stable and it's worth it, which is not very often, I just pay the price he wants for it. Because otherwise, you know, he gets a little bit upset. Uh, I bought these two from him. Four euro each for these Tomica blister ones. These are hard to come by. I thought the price were fair. So I bought them. His uh, underage son was uh, handling the, the money. So I gave him a, I don't remember, a 10 euro note or a 20 euro note. And he gave me back too much money. So I said it to him, dude, you gave me back too much money. Uh, you only owe me this amount. That's when his father stepped in and looked at his son like, what the heck are you doing? And I said to his father, you know, I'm always honest, you know, that's just who I am. That's how I am. Uh, how I deal with people, hoping he will be, uh, you know, a little bit more willing to work with me in the future. But being a Dutch guy, he probably isn't going to. Just kidding. I love the Dutch people. Don't get me wrong. Okay, what do I get? What did I get? Number ninety-eight. Um, this is a Toyota Aqua hatchback. This is the first gen. It was made from 2011 till 2021 when the second model was released. This one is open. I don't mind. Silly thing, they have a drawing picture of the vehicle behind the vehicle. So you cannot see it when it's in the blister. I mean, how pointless is that? What were they thinking? So, plastic base, Toyota Aqua 159 scale. Suspension, as uh, these uh, basic Tomicas all have. Pretty much full deco. Got some black around the windows or for the pillars at least. Silver paint for the tail lights. It's got the uh, Toyota logo, the Aqua name, and then the uh, hybrid logo of Toyota. This is a hybrid. And then headlights are done, Toyota logo and some black for the grills. No opening parts on this, but you know, it's okay. Good enough. And then here we get a Nissan Note. This is kind of a mini MPV. So I'll keep this carded for the uh, minivan video and mini MPV video. This is the second gen of the Nissan Note from 2012 till 2020. Um, yeah, so since this is uh, this is not opened, so I'll keep discarded. And then the last one, uh, I kind of need to explain how I got this. So my friend Heron van Damme, who drove with me to the event, because he doesn't drive a car anymore. Um, after the the event. Uh, which kind of ended one hour earlier than uh, it was meant to be because it was very hot that day. Uh, I was kind of worn out um, by that time, by the time it ended because of the heat. The sellers were also worn out because of the heat, so I didn't mind it finishing earlier. If it was a, would have been a cooler day, I would have... Um, looked into the, the loose cars much more detailed and I would have gotten uh, much more stuff. But, you know, I kind of lost energy after a, a few hours. So after the event, what we usually do is uh, we sit down, usually in the car, but in this case on a picnic table on the um, school uh, playground because uh, the, the swap meet was held in a school. And first we ate something and then we showed the stuff we bought to one another. Uh, something we do most of the time after the event. Um, and 
we're not really competition for one another. I'm more into the newer stuff. He's more into the older stuff, even pre-war stuff and stuff like that. So something totally different. But here and now and then there's some stuff we both like and uh, we make each other jealous of what we found. He showed me this uh, uh, Kyosho that he uh, he got and I was like, wow, I did not see that. Wow, would, I would have picked that up because, you know, he knows I'm into station wagons. I have the uh, Metal Flake red, almost burgundy version of this. But this kind of uh, bluish silver one uh, is very, very appealing to me. And uh, you know what? The next time I saw him, he gifted this to me as a gift for taking him to the event. Isn't that nice of him? It's awesome to have uh, great friends like that. And, you know, I, I I happily take him to the event. I don't expect anything in return. But if he does, I'm not going to stop him, obviously, because, you know, this is nice stuff. And I've always gotten uh, nice stuff uh, from him for uh, for taking him to uh, to an event. So 164 Audi a6 Avant, it says on the plastic base. So these, of course, have rubber tires and authentic rims. Really big rims on this uh, on this Audi. Nice ones too. Very well done by Kyosho. Lens lights front and rear. Obviously, this is uh, this is premium stuff. So you can expect some uh, some nice details, which are obviously present. And uh, on the rear very small a6 on the left is kind of well you can hardly see it i don't know what does it say on the right can you see it comment below if you can see if there's something on the right i don't see it oh yeah i think it's uh an engine size maybe 3.2 or something i'm not sure i like the uh the brake light there very nicely done thanks for watching and I hope to see you next week at the garage sale. Bye.